Hello, I'm Peter Brackley, and for this evening's game, I have Trevor Brooking with me for his own inimitable analysis. Trevor. Thanks and good evening, Peter. Delighted to be here this evening. I know players from both sides are fiercely competitive, so let's see what kind of game this will turn out to be today. We're off, and this is a contest sure to please football fans worldwide. Both teams will be aiming to keep it tight in the early stages. Dealt with the threat well. Ball one here, the break is on, he's carried the ball forward, really good punch by the keeper. Well the keeper was quick to react and punch the ball behind for a corner. Drives it to the middle, heads it! Trevor, this game has started at quite a pace. Yes they have, it'll be hard to keep it going like this for the rest of the game Peter. He's gone for goal. The goalkeeper saw that was going outside the left post. Well, some of the crowd thought that one was on its way in. And what a goal it would have been. Slices open the defence. And the ball ends up in the keeper's gloves. Atletico Madrid. Wins the ball, great defending. 30 minutes on the clock in the first half. Tries one from distance. Safely into the keeper's gloves. It looks as if he brought him down there, but... Had the ball now. Now it's a great chance for a counter-attack. Headed towards goal! Maybe a miss hit, it was off target though. Quality trap here. Into the arms of the keeper. The whistle goes for half-time, and the players head off to the dressing rooms, with the managers, no doubt, having plenty to say during the break. What's your analysis of the game, Trevor? They've been a bit disappointed in making space and running off the ball, so I'm surprised that they've managed to keep the game level so far. So it's nil-nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. Palmer. The second half underway. Will the players respond to their respective managers' half-time team talks? Both managers are starting the second half the way they ended the first. And it's hit forward. Fires it in from quite a distance. 
That's far wide of the right-hand post. Well, it's back to basics, I think, Peter. The shot just has to be on target, particularly from there. He's off on the long run. Gets it. Well worked to win the ball. Heads it! He sliced that well wide of the right post. The defence has done well so far. Struck it from distance. The fans will be disappointed there. But I think the ball swerved a bit, didn't quite hit the shot properly. He goes on himself. And he goes for it. It's over. Maybe couldn't control the ball enough on the shot. Well, you know, Peter, I wonder whether if the shot was on target, the goalkeeper actually would have got to it. I don't think so. Australia. Struck it from distance. Another shot blocked by the keeper. They must be wondering what they have to do to beat this goalkeeper today. Runs with the ball towards the right flank. That was an awful pass. Five minutes plus stoppage time is all that remains now for either side to score the game's first goal. And who knows, maybe the winner. And he has a go from there. The keeper has been kept busy today. They've had a few decent attempts, but the keeper's been too good today. And they still have possession here. There's the whistle. No winner here. The match ends in a draw. But I don't think either manager will be too unhappy. Some excellent football on show here. Trevor, did you enjoy the game? Very much so. In fact, I have to say the standard of play was excellent. That brings us to the end of our coverage this evening. So thank you, Trevor, for joining me. It was a great game. Thanks, Peter. And so until the next time, it's goodbye from both of us.